What's up everybody? Today we're going to go over a MLB The Show 21 glitch that will make completing Team Affinity super easy. If you want more tips, glitches, and stub making method, drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe right now. Let's get into today's ba -ba 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 thing. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. The fastest and easiest way to complete showdown is with the draft. Try to draft as many left-handed power hitting lefties as possible. Number two, your perks. Try to always aim at getting exit velocity. Exit velocity with no base runners. Exit velocity when you are behind in the count or two strikes. Stuff like that. Now, with this glitch, that's going to make it very easy for you to complete it. A lot of people are not good at showdown. Even I am an average player. To make this glitch successful, and very fast you want to always get to about six to eight runs before you skip to the final boss okay so you can play one or two at the beginning and then skip to that first boss you have to beat that first boss one key thing push right trigger or r2 and look at his pitch sequences you can see fastball fork ball slider change up if you see fastball at the top two seam at the top or sinker at the top then you can keep your strike zone exactly where it's at in the middle or higher it's a good chance out of three pitches two of them would be a fastball if you see change up circle change or anything like that an off speed pitch at the top then you can keep your strike zone from the knees below it's a good chance he's going to throw you more off speed pitches and a lot of them will fall outside the strike zone okay and that's going to help you out get more base runners more base hits the second thing push right trigger or r2 that's going to show your pitcher stamina and his confidence the more pitches that you take and the more base hits that you get the more his confidence meter is going to go down using this glitch if you are taking his confidence down for some reason it affects the entire team so they will start making more errors they can't stop easy ground balls balls go over the head that could have been catchable okay so after you beat that first boss you're going to go up in here and you're going to try to get to the diamond perk or another goal you want at least three goals so you don't want to skip to the final boss right away and have silver perks you want to try to have all golds or at least one diamond now, like I said, when you're looking at his pitching combinations, very, very important to make this glitch work easier for you. You can get done with the full showdown in about 20 to 25 minutes max. Sometimes you can get done in 15 minutes, depending on if you're swinging at the first strike or not. Another thing, they have a hidden attribute where if you swing at the first pitch, it seems like it's a better chance for you to get grounded out, popped up with a line drive. It's going to go straight to the defender and stuff like that. If you let that first pitch go by, it seems like his attributes go up a lot of people have hidden perks where if you let that first pitch go by no matter if it's a fastball straight down the middle your contact and your swing seems like it's way better i tried it out over six or seven showdowns and swinging at the second or third pitch makes your guy that much better if you enjoy mlb the show 21 tips mlb the show 21 glitches make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe right now turn your channel notifications on so you can never miss the best tips and tricks in the game I'll see y'all in the next video. If y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. If you're this far in the video, a quick bonus tip. If you have less than the eight runs and you have a runner on first and a runner on third, you can steal every single base without getting thrown out. You can even steal home as long as you have somebody on opposite side bases. If he's just on third by himself, you can't steal home. But if you have a runner on first, still into second, and you have a runner on third going home under eight runs, he will get get in safely.